Hi, I'm Colleen Francois, a part-time watercolor artist from Trinidad and Tobago. I wanted to welcome you all to my channel. This has been something that I have wanted to do for some time and I am so excited that I finally decided to take the plunge to get over my fears, my doubts, my insecurities and just do it. So I decided why not in my first video why don't I invite you guys into my space virtually so that you could see where it is I operate and I haven't really operated in this space for a very long time because I recently got a space of my own in December of 2022 so this video is actually to document what would have happened in that process from how it looked before to what it is today and share some of the projects that I would have undertaken. Well, one project really, apart from laying out the materials and, and books, one project I would have undertaken myself to get this space to where it is today. And so this video will show that progression as well as some future plans I have for this space because it definitely is incomplete. As you can see, I am actually in my studio right now and I have a blank wall behind me so I hope that based on the the plans that I share with you guys maybe you could drop some comments or let me know what you think of what it is I intend to do with this space but I really wanted to have it to a level where I could sit and operate in and understand how I actually go through my process of creating work because I'm a part-time artist so I don't really produce work as regularly as I would love to and going through this experience is intended to help me understand what I would need for this space whether it's storage solutions or work services. So with that said, like I said before, feel free to drop a comment, let me know what you think even if it's just to say hello and let me know what part of the world you are from because I'm so excited to meet you and I hope you enjoy. So with that said, let's go. So I managed to find the, this photo of my old space and it was literally a table in my brother's bedroom back in my family home. And for perspective, these are two 16 by 20 pieces from my last exhibition. Now on to the demo. This is the studio. So, I am going to demolish this wall. Get rid of this wardrobe. Move this. So this is the and results of the walls being demolished and this next clip is the beginning of the painting over of the space where the walls were prepped on that end where demolition took place and this is the beginning of the painting of the accent color on the wall. You see I already put in a lot of my art stuff but this is the color it is inkwell and the um, other walls are in snowbound both Sean Williams colors let me see if I could just kind of move the curtain so you could see it without the filtered light we're seeing more of the blue now and well I'm also at a different point in the room so the white that was complementary to the snowbound actually looks like it has a blue undertone in it which is pretty cool because i only now noticed it now that is on the wall so yeah this is my little studio space so far now this is where i attempted my diy this i bought in a garage sale and i decided that i wanted to strip it so i bought some citrus strip paint stripper and put it all over this um, storage desk 
what I realized in hindsight was I really didn't need to do that, but I really love how it came out at the end. A couple of lessons learned was that I was a bit too hasty in applying the coats of paint in between so i should have waited a little longer because when i started to put stuff on top of the storage unit there was a little bit of tackiness that happened so this is the studio space after the renovation minor renovation where i took down a wall that used to be here that I'll show the before video and against this wall there used to be a wardrobe or closet and because I know I was going to use this room as a studio it didn't make sense to have the wardrobe there because then I wouldn't get this magnificent desk that is four feet wide by I believe two feet uh, four feet that way <laughs> and I think two feet this way to be oriented in a way that I could operate in because as you could see from the window, although I see a lot of people put desks by their window, for me that's just too much glare directly in my face. And I don't like that my back would be facing the door. It just seems so exposed <laughs> and vulnerable. So knowing that I had two desks as well, because this hair covered under all this rubble is the first desk I had a drafting desk with a glass top that needs to be cleared so that I could operate on two surfaces at once so as you see the walls are basically bare well they are bare this is my accent wall see the color inkwell and so my intentions for this room are as follows. So in the second walkthrough of this space, I'm just showing again my storage desk with wicker baskets. I put some vintage finds and plants on top of it. And I have some other plants off to this side that I'll show in a second that I'm really on the fence about whether I should keep them there, although I would love them to be there but I'm thinking of getting a draw storage unit to fit in that space. On this wall with the switch, I'm, I want to put some floating shelves and this wall, I'd really like to be my gallery wall with other art. This is a, I think it's a Tiffany Lamb chandelier that I would really love to put as a pendant light in this space because it looks really nice and the colors are matching with the accent wall. So that's a plan there and this wall I have my immediate painting materials, my paint palettes, paint brushes, pencils, pens, etc. And I also would love to do a floating desk on this wall for my desktop. Going back around now to show you my bookshelf that came with this space and I decided to use. And this is just some art that I have at the top. A lot of little vintage finds that I would have found through Instagram, this cactus neon lamp. And the intention is to build out another bookshelf along this piece of wall, so like a corner bookshelf. And it will be able to hold the rest of my books that are in storage. And this is my last message that I tell myself to create. So guys, I hope you really liked what it is I had to show you in my very first video. I hope you like this space. For now, I like it and I mean, it's, there, there are some, some teething issues that I am currently going through but I really like where it has come to or what it has come to so far and 
I hope that you all can tune in for future videos to see how this space evolves as well as just other videos on my progress and my process throughout this 2023. And for those of you who don't follow me on social media outside of YouTube, I am actually on Facebook and Instagram as House of Francois. So I will leave a link somewhere <laughs> and you can feel free to follow me and explore the rest of my work and the things that I post. So thanks so much for joining and see you in the next one. Bye.